So it's a job now. You're gonna have to find a way or they find somebody else. So I'm always looking over my shoulder just to make sure that I'm dialed in on my playbook, I'm dialed in on my technique, so that way when I go out and put my foot on the field, that is my best step forward. Repetition is everything. I mean, this game is all about just making sure you're doing these things day in and day out with the perfect technique every time. At the end of the day, everybody's fast and everybody's strong. It's about whose technique is going to hold up longer. So I try to hone in on those things a lot and put myself ahead of the game. I definitely want to experience more. I want to do more for the team and put myself in a situation to excel. And overall, I'm just excited to get back to work. This is the, the, the sanctuary. I'm gonna uh, grab his, his leash real quick and we can take a little walk. Y'all can kind of see what I do a little bit before I get to the stadium, before I get my, my thoughts together, before I can get this machine running um, as far as going to practice. Cause I mean, it's a grind. I mean, it's meetings, you know, making sure you got workouts, making sure your body feels right, make sure you're eating right, sleeping right. So doing this with him just clears my mind and puts everything out in perspective and just Make sure I take care of him, and that way I can just get myself right. So when it's that time to make plays or whatever they need me to do, I'm ready to go. So let me go knock this out real quick. And we out. He knows what time it is. He needs about this every, every day at least, but sometimes he's like a lazy house dog. He don't feel like, he don't feel like taking a little stroll because he don't like his paws getting wet. So you got to take him around here a couple times, around the block and back. It just depends on how I want to do it, how much time I got. But yeah, he's a handful. I think I like him a lot too, just because we're kind of the same in some ways. You know, he can be real chill, but when he gets going, he gets going. So yeah, nothing too major. It's about one of these things that you got to knock out here and there. Go on. So, as knowing in this, this game, having that, this place to clear your mind, is uh, crucial. He leads the league in 24 years old or under players in the sack department. So good young player for this Texans team in his second year. Well, he is playing some super football the last couple of weeks. Really doing an outstanding job. Came into the game with 17 tackles, six sacks already for Jonathan Grenard. Every pass rusher and every defensive end has a sort of a different style, so the goal and the hope is to try to accentuate the things that you do well. John's a, a strong guy, he's a powerful player, he has good quickness, he has an understanding of leverage, and he's been able to use those uh, assets to his advantage. Jonathan Grenard with a sack! From year one to year two, or even going back to his time at both Louisville and Florida, he's kind of developed a little bit as a rusher. He worked really hard in the offseason, developed his body, developed his strength, developed his power, continued to work on his speed and his quickness. Bobby King and Allen have done a great job working with John on some different things. Let's get it, BK. Go, man. Come on. Stuff we worked on, you know, just the hand placement. He's a very instinctual player. You know, he can beat you a lot of ways. He's a great teammate. Trust it, baby. You yeah. trust me, yeah. trust you, we yeah. win too. Whatever the game plan is against a certain offensive lineman that week, he executes the plan very well. Hey, rush what you see, okay? Yeah. I mean He's becoming a great leader and, um, you know, always, always, always stay hungry. So I have like my, my quotes here. This is like my, one of my favorite ones. Just because overall, like, Mediocrity is so easy to get and achieve. It's just like one of those things that uh, I try to stay away from. I mean, it kind of keeps me grounded too because I just understand, you know, when you get into mediocrity, you feel like you're there. That's when you get passed up. So that's one of the things I hold near and dear to myself. Over here too is another one, just to remember your why. Um, that's just kind of self-explanatory. I mean, all my life, I mean, I, it's just been me, my mom, my brother, my sister. Um, my stepdad at the time and my father obviously was passed, but pretty much it's been us the whole time. So they're my why. They keep me going. Um, my sister just had two beautiful kids, my niece and my nephew. So, I mean, it's, that's all I can ask for. I mean, I play ball, but at the end of the day, I do it for them just because, you know, the sacrifice they put in the game for me to get me to where I'm at. It just goes for everything hand in hand. So. Let's get it, Coach. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, Coach. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing. Hey, what's the hard count? Flat, 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 flat.
I would say he's very professional in his approach. Dealt with some adversity in training camp, you know, the ankle injury, which limited his production. The way he handled himself in that situation, had the right attitude, had the right approach, and then when he had his opportunity, he's been able to take advantage of it. Those are qualities that you know, want all players to possess, and I'd say those are a couple examples of John, you know, where, where he showed that. So I wake up, as y'all seen, I kind of went through it with Tycho. I'm pretty much getting myself situated, brush the teeth, you know, wash my hair, all that stuff. And then um, I, let, I, get, I take care of him because I know pretty much whether it's me or my girl who's here right now, she'll take care of him, but I just like to make sure he's settled before I get out of there. And then when I get up in here, as y'all see right now, the music is not playing. I don't hardly play any music at all in the mornings because I like to take that time to self-reflect. I just chill, keep my mind blank, and, uh, and I get set up for the week. Second down and seven at the 14-yard line. Here's the snap. And now he's going to go down. He's sacked by John Grenard, his seventh of the year. It's experience equals confidence. Every game he plays, he gathers more experience. And with that, confidence comes. You know, with that, his leadership, you know, stuff inside the room, and uh, the confidence is growing weekly. It's going to be a sack by Grenard. Grenard strip sack. I definitely um, came into the season. I just wanted to maximize what I did last year. I didn't have the year that I expected to have, obviously, because of injuries, you know. Me learning, adapting to the system, adapting to the NFL lifestyle. But this season, after that, I just made it my mind, I mean, made it my mission to make sure that I just try to dominate. I don't care what the stats say. I don't care what I try to do. I'll worry about that at the end of the game. But right then and there, I got to physically impose my will on my opponent. And I know that my teammates and my dudes on the D-line and the defense, the whole team as a whole, I know that we're on that same mission. I started playing ball when I was five years old. That joy of waking up on those Saturday mornings to get ready for my games, I still get that same joy on Sunday. Because it's fun, I think a lot of times us players, we lose track of the sight of it. It's, it's, we're getting paid to play a child's game, but it's still football. And I think that's what I try to make sure that I do every time I you know, wake up in the morning and I step foot in that facility. But it's only great things to come. I'm, all, I'm just excited to see the development and progress that we make as a team, individually and um, overall. So I'm leaving on that. But y'all tune in with me, man. Stay tuned and stay tuned for the show. We're gonna get this thing rolling up in Houston. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.